for a very limited time, you can head on over to MrMuckCoin.com, link is in the description, and use code GS25 for 25% off all your purchases. Stop wasting money on packs, stop letting EA dictate what you get, go on ahead and get the cards you want and deserve right now. What is going on guys, GS here, welcome back to another Madden 20 video, and today we have ourselves four brand new NFL 100 players. And uh, we're going to give our thoughts and opinions on them. I have actually not looked at a single stat except um, Ray Guy. He's the only one I looked up just to make sure that they were in the game. And they are. And we're going to go over each and every single one of those guys here. So uh, this week we have special teams uh, elected as NFL Top 100. Well, there were several players, but uh, added into Madden was... Devin Hester and Ray Guy and as cornerbacks we have Willie Brown and Deion Sanders so let's go on ahead and let's take a look at Raymond Guy and I got rid of Ray Guy earlier because I was doing a Rams theme and then um, the uh, guy from the Titans came out I can't think of his name Kern came out with more kick power and now this guy can really boot the ball I don't think I'm going to go after him though um, Hecker is, you know, obviously, obviously, eight kick power is really, really, uh, huge, huge beneficiary difference, like, very, very, very big difference, but, um, I just don't see me really doing that, we, we have, uh, football outsiders, punter coming out soon, and, um, I don't know, I just feel like, as good as this guy, he's gonna have 95 kick power, which is, that's big, right, that's, that's a ton of kick power, but, um, I've, Definitely, like, everyone knows my value on special teams is extremely high, right? Especially um, in a game where it's very, very, very... Well, I'm, I'm thinking of in terms of squads, right? In, in terms of squads, like, field position is very important. You'll, you'll see teams, you know, punt on fourth and two or head-to-head. -head. No one really punts, right? So that's why I don't really use a punter. And on squads, I don't really run offense like that. Um but special teams is very, very, very important. If you could punt the ball and force them to have a long drive, if you can kick field goals from super deep, it's an advantage for you. Maybe I'll get them. Maybe I'll, I'm not sure. But this is a card I could live without. It's a card where if I don't get, it's, it's not the end of the world. I'm okay with it. Great punter, great kick power. But eh, you know, that's something that I could see myself passing up. Um, we have Devin Hester. We're going to go ahead and take a look at who is going for right now 749k. Now this guy is one of the, if not the greatest return man of all time. We're going to compare him to Dante Hall. He has 95 stock speed, meaning he can get 99 speed. He has 89 jumping. Now when you compare him to Dante Hall, he doesn't have the short or route running. Both of their route runnings are very bad. They're not good, but they're going to be able to get evasive. They're going to be able to get return man, which is really good. And actually having both of these guys active, if you pass the ball a lot, not the worst idea in the world. Because one, they're going to, you know, if they punt you the ball, these guys are super good. And if you just put the ball in these guys' hands, they could make a ton of plays. I had uh, Hall active for a while, and I would just put him on drags and just give him the ball, and I would just spin out a Tillman or make some moves happen with a juke. And it's very, 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 very glitchy. Now, if you got two of them with over-the-top crazy speed with great um great ability to house it anytime their hands are on the ball like that's that's big you know um like when Tory Holt catches a pass even though his route running is phenomenal I'm probably not gonna break two or three tackles for a touchdown uh but with Hall or Hester if I you know catch a post I can easily make two or three guys miss with evasive and there's not too many wide receivers that offer that uh we're gonna go on ahead and go down to his juke and uh, stiff arm and special moves and all that stuff. So spin move is 91 and juke is 92. So Dante Hall has the higher ups on those. But again, Hester will be able to get um, evasive, I'm pretty sure. And he's just going to be very, 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 very fast. Uh, probably not that much of a difference between him and Dante Hall, except he's he's faster. He's going to be able to get 99 speed, whereas Hall is able to get, what, 96 or something like that. So uh, plus three speed is big. And again, for the vertical game, that's just huge. You know, being able to outrun pretty much everyone in the game is definitely a very... Very, very big fact. I'm looking for his kick return um, 
a 94. The disrespect. The disrespect. A 94. Then we have two guys that we have Willie Brown and we have Deion Sanders. I did not see Deion Sanders getting an item considering he already has a 92. And um, Deion now has a 94. And I sold my Dion, and I again, I, I don't see me picking this Dion up. Uh, a tremendous speed, uh, but outside of that, he just doesn't do much in the run game. And as great as he is speed wise, not too many people really pass the ball. Let's be honest, not too many people pass. Man, you're facing guys where uh, they run the ball a ton, and you can, you know, make a case where you would prefer someone with. Way more block shed that's just more physical in the run game than you are. Great agility, great speed. You know when he's on the field, he's going to lock down. But again, how many passes are you truly going to face? You know, uh, can Dion stop the stretch? That's what I need to know. <laughs> um, again, he can accomplish 99 speed as well. Um, he can get like 97, 98 man. Uh, he can get like 95 zone. Uh, again, his agility is super high. Uh, if you have full sprinter, his agility will be, what, 94. I think powered up will be 96, and then you take two away, 94. But he will have uh, 99, um, 99 speed, 98 excel, because you'll get plus one from the power up, 96, plus two from sprinter, 98, and until uh, physical Madden comes out here uh, too uh, with the plus one excel, um, you're not going to be able to add another one. Unless you have, like, team chems and stuff like that. But uh, maybe I'll get them and maybe I won't. Again, this is another card where if I had to pick two out of the group, um, I'm not even really sure. Uh, Dion looks phenomenal. Uh, again, uh, you know he's going to be playing over the top. You know he's going to have tremendous speed. You know he's going to be all over the place. But when I had Dion... Um, I, like there was no big difference between him and other guys that are souped up with speed uh, due to sprinter stuff like that. Like him and Ward played the same for me in the past because they both had the same speed and Ward was just super fast and and so was Dion and it's like okay well they play the same Dion does nothing in the run compared to like Ramsey or Ward or even Jackson and definitely not Night Train. So uh, probably going to end up getting Dion. So I'm just, I'm a little underwhelmed at the cards. Like I, I feel like the selection could have been better like from the guys that were chosen. Like they could have threw out an Aeneas Williams. They could have threw out a, um, a Ken Houston. They could have threw out... Uh, like, there were so many options there. I don't even think they did safe, uh, safety. I don't know. I just feel like Dion already has a 92. They could have did Mel Blunt would have been a, a, a nice one to have. But instead, they went with Dion, who already has a 92. I really felt like that should have been Mel Blunt. And I feel like that would have been more exciting. Or, or Mel Renfro would have been super exciting as well. Because Mel Renfro, Mel Blunt, and Dick Lane are the only guys that have the big hitter trait, so that would have been nice to have. Willie Brown with the Raiders or Broncos chem, 92 stock speed, 91 play rec, 93 man, 92 zone, 92 press. He was the first guy, I believe, in the game that could get both zoned out and man up in the game, so that was a big thing for us. Um, take a look at his block shed. I want to know how he's looking and stopping the run because, again, that's important to me. That's why Night Train Lane is such a big fact. And even Jalen Ramsey because Jalen Ramsey, as slow as he is, plays the run so good. Um, whereas, according to Mudhead Rating, Dion has, of course, 99 range, 99 man, 99 zone, uh, 99 hands. Uh, 85 run support. Willie Brown has a 96 run support, and to me, that's that's important, right? If I can go on ahead and have someone to clog up the run, just you know, better then you know that's good but the good thing is that these guys will be active with their ability starting if you start them i'm not sure what their 100 abilities are but um let's take a look uh willie brown's block shed is 58 58 to where dion is 39 and again like if i see a dion i'm running towards him all day every day um i believe dion can he get universal coverage? I think so. I'm probably going to end up getting Dion, Willie Brown, and Hester. I don't think I'm going to get Ray Guy. I'm probably going to end up passing on those guys. So I do have to get rid of a corner. 
Uh, I'm not going to get rid of Ramsey. I'm not going to get rid of Jackson because Jackson just plays so, so good. But so does Ward. I'll probably end up getting rid of Jackson then because uh, the new series is going to start soon. So I'll probably just end up buying his Redux again uh, because this card is really, 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 really good. Um, but I just, I was just hoping for more. Maybe it's just me. Um, I mean, all the cards are good. Don't get me wrong. Like, by no means am I saying like they're going to play bad. They're going to be great. But I would just like, I would have liked a little better selection. I think if they did a Mel Blunt, if they did a, uh, whoever the other punter was, because we already have a Ray guy. Give us the other guy. I don't even know who the other option was. Give us him. Hester's phenomenal, new to the game, right? Um, well, not new to the game. He's been in Ultimate Team before. But, you know, this year, like a new item. And then for the other corner, like, I think Mel Blunt would have been great. Give us the big dog that would have been out there slapping folks with Night Train. Or Mel Renfro, man. Like, give us the big hitter corner. But they gave us Dion. So Dion's going to be... Uh, Probably expensive because again I sold the 92. Um, I'm probably gonna end up. Uh, actually, no, I I have my power pass on him. I um, when I sold when I just got rid of Dion, I took the power pass and I put that on um, Lanier because Lanier 91 was going for like 500k when he first came. I was like, oh hell no, let me just use the power pass. So I'm probably just gonna get Dion again and. Um, Willie Brown, and I'm, I may just get Ray Guy. Why not, right? That's just way too good. Kick power to ignore. But let me know your thoughts and opinions. I was really, really hoping for Mel Blunt or Renfro. That's who I wanted, man, because those big hitter corners with the big hitter trait is just so game-changing. I was really hoping for one of those two guys. But nonetheless, four good cards. Let me know which one you guys like the most. We're probably going to try to have gameplay with all four of these guys tomorrow. It's your boy Jess. We're going to go ahead and have a signing out. I appreciate the love and support. As always, until next time, peace.